Well, surely you only came here because you wanted to speak to Largo. Every newcomer does. I could oh. write you a letter of recommendation. I could, but I won't. Knox, what are you... What happened to your eyes? They said they wanted to meet us to discuss a peace treaty. All of us went there, right into the trap. It was later that night when they found a way to become undead. All you need to know is that if Victor finds the Black Grimoire, he can speak the final spell and everything we know will come to an end. I spoke to Leora. My wife? She's overcome with guilt for all that she did. I do not need to forgive her, for I always knew she wanted to do the right thing. Oh, it's true. I made a very bad mistake, but just as I had betrayed my friends, Victor had betrayed me. He didn't take a single prisoner. They all died that night. This is a letter of recommendation. Now you can go and see Largo, who can tell you anything about this district that you need to know. Sophistos? He pleaded with me for a special permit for a research laboratory when the Great Chimney was built. Do you have the key for the old chimney? If you can, let's say, remove him, I'll give you your key. You'll find Mercutio at the Ambrosial Lotus. Sorry, we've got no jobs at the moment. The girls can handle them all. Are you Mercutio? That's me. Why do you ask? You broke Largo's rules. Largo sent you? Hey, you don't need to do this. I I'm sure there's another way. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? Let's talk to Kitten, my boss. Who's Kitten? I am Kitten. Damn. And if you kill one of my men, I will hunt you down myself. Tusker already told me about you. I know he betrayed you. And I know about the guys you scared with your tricks at the gate. From what I hear, you're quite the wild card. I'm sure you're dangerous too. It need not end in bloodshed, though, if you consider my offer. Speak. I hear Largo sent you to see us. We don't like Largo very much. Yeah, he's kind of And a speaking from experience, you should never take his word. If there's something he promised you for this mission, maybe we can get it for you instead. And if it hurts Largo in the process, well, that just makes it all the more appealing. Largo promised me the keys to the chimney. That's fine. This is the key to his house. One of my girls got hold of it a few months ago. It'll open the locks you need. Now all you've got to do is go to Largo's house, preferably when he's not there, and take what you need. And trust me, whatever you do, if it hurts Largo, it'll be good for the rest of us. All right. <clears throat> yeah, Largo is... Sorry, Largo's kind of a dick, so I'm going to just go ahead and why wouldn't I help... A biggin' woman with some big old titties. Although she does have kind of frumply English face, though. Some low hanging fruit, but whatever. Okay. Just waltz in here and take the key, I think. Is this it? Okay. It's one of those games where I hope it has a consequence, but these stories play out very mundane. Like, I expect. I expect people to come back, like, 
based on what choice I make. They give you two choices. I pick one choice, but sometimes nothing happens, or most of the time nothing happens. You just end up doing something else. You know what I mean? That's what makes the game so meh. Like, if I pick... If I pick not fighting, then does Largo's guard come after me? Probably not. <laughs> All right, here we go. A little bats in the belfry over here, huh? that you can't jump. Try to make a run for it. I don't have enough mental energy. That is some old bullshit. There we go. All right. Now, what I want to look for here. Here's a uh, body. Sophistos. Hector was right. The rats didn't leave much evidence. Where are your manners? Sneaking into my laboratory like a thief instead of knocking on the door. You dead, man. In case you didn't notice, you're dead. Ah, that explains a lot. I need to talk to you about the Black Grimoire. Oh, the Book of Books. And at the same time, not a book at all. It was given to me. It's mine. And no one will ever see it. You but shall not not just pass. because I'm being awkward. Lend me your ear, and I'll explain. Once upon a time, in a faraway land, a book was written, not with ink and not on paper. Who wrote it, nobody knows. But the knowledge within can change the cosmic rules in the hands of one who can look beyond the far horizon. Please, go on. No one knows why and no one knows when. But the Black Grimoire found its way into our world. It didn't take long for word of its powers to spread, and everyone who heard of it wanted it. Please, go on. Rather than let the book's powers fall into the wrong hands, it was decided it should be destroyed. Hot fire is needed. Very, very hot fire. And I was the one who had to destroy it. So, when this chimney was built to provide energy for the dockyards, I secretly stepped in and made some adjustments that would enable me to burn the book. Did you burn it? No, I didn't. I couldn't. I will never be able to. All I needed to do was activate the chimney and put the book onto the grating. But when I touched the book, oh... I was intoxicated by its power. I needed to protect it. I was not strong enough to burn it. Where is it now? I buried it. 
there's a villa on the southwestern aisle. The book is buried in the garden, close to a tall tree. Obviously, you'd need a shovel to unearth it. But why would you want to do that? You wouldn't want to do that, would you? Ask a gondolier to take you there and unearth the grimoire? No. You could. You could put an end to all the horror. But I would never let you. Now, go. You know what you have to do, don't you? Okay. Oh. I'll take the scroll, too. So then I have to go back to the, um... Let me go down here and look, see what the hell he's talking about. Huh? Oh. Yeah, let me go ahead and take his letter. So weird. Okay. So let me go and get the grimoire from the uh what's her face's place, the um woman who I helped to get back her villa with the lisp. And, um, bring it back over here. Well, no, I need a shovel first. Where would I find a shovel? Hmm. Welcome, my friend. How can I help you? Show me your goods. Okay. Uh, I have the shovel, but before I go to, uh... Handle all that crap. Oh no, it's you. Please, don't misunderstand what happened back at the Persian house. Let me explain. I'm listening. Your life depends on your answer. They forced me to do it. They held captive a very precious friend of mine. I had no choice. I'm not satisfied. You'd better think fast of something that's going to stop me. I swear that I didn't want to do it. Believe me. I believe you. Don't make me regret this. Thank you for sparing me. You won't regret it, I swear. You'd better not stand around here for too long. Do you have a job for me? What a question. Well, normally, I wouldn't even think about this. But let's see. You didn't kill me. And I heard you spared Mercutio. Okay. So, even if it may be unwise, I'll invite you to join me on a special journey. I can't tell you much about it. What I can tell you is that this ship you're standing on is involved, and that your wallet won't regret this trip. Count me in. Let's set sail, then. I hope you won't get seasick. All right. Off to different lands, then. How about it? Ah, there you are. Come. We've brought that ship up. It's filled with rich money bags. Board their ship and bring me some fine loot. Not just anything, but the special stuff. The goods I'm looking for should be packed in small parcels. Some of them are in the captain's cabin, I reckon. Now, go and get the loot. Okay.
It didn't take much to kill. Come on, guy. This is a nice ship, man. We just gonna leave it up here or leave it out here. quarters Is that everything? I think I got everything. Okay. Did you do what I asked you for? I think I've got all the parcels. Great. Then let's get out of here while we can. You did great out there. Here's your share. <laughs> Turns out I went to the wrong villa. Do you call it a villa? Anyway, I went to the wrong one. Everybody seems a little dead here. Hmm. It's a little messed up. But... Oh. Hey, guys.
Guess there's more upstairs. I just want to clear the area first and then go digging. Because I think they're looking for the grimoire too. Could make this damn moon blade any uh better. Come on, guys. Special key. So that sucks. It's here. It's here. The lectors finally detected its presence. Have you already found the book? I will rip it from your cold, dead hands. Uh, okay. I can beat you with a normal weapon now, right? Yeah, bro, I'm not afraid of you. All right, another map that I can't capitalize on yet. That kind of sucks. Got a lot of sweets around here. No, oh, I picked up the key by mistake. Fair enough. Okay, come on, buddy. Any more? 
That's the big tree. That's the lion that protects stuff. Wonder why I didn't protect anything. Well, whatever. Be careful with that book. I can sense something evil. Ha! Huh. Since when have you been able to sense things? You can't even sense your own nose. Wait, you can talk? Of course we can. And now, finally, you can hear us. Okay. Welcome to my store of occult items. Are you looking for any special items? As a matter of fact, I am. This may be just a legend, but people say that, although I've never seen it for myself, in the right conditions, creatures made of stone can sometimes come to life. Apparently, if you can destroy them, there'll be a special rock among their debris called a pale heart. If you can bring me eight pale hearts, I'd like to try and create something very special. I found this magic ring. A magical ring? Allow me to have a look. Well, that's a pretty nice ring. But it's not the size of the ring, it's the gems that really matter to me. By taking the gems from these rings and attaching them to magical weapons, you can greatly increase their powers. If you had, say, a moon blade, I could get started right away. <laughs> okay. It's funny you should say that. I have a moon blade right here. Shall I improve your moon blade for you? For only 500 ducats? Absolutely. Yes, please. Okay, if you'd like to hand over the moon blade and the ring. Here, take them. Okay, this won't take long. Here's your new moon blade. Better than ever. If you ever find another magic ring, feel free to drop by again. Thanks. Alright. Welcome to my store of occult items. I found another magic ring. Shall I improve your moon blade for you? For only 500 ducats? Yes, please. Okay, if you'd like to hand over the moon blade and the ring. Here, take them. Okay, this won't take long. Here's your new moon blade. Better than ever. If you ever find another magic ring, feel free to drop by again. Thanks. Welcome to my store of occult items. About these roof beasts? Well, I don't know. Back in the old days, I used to climb the roofs to collect white ivy. But now it's all crowded by these horrible flying monsters. If you could destroy their nests, I'd be very grateful. 